हेलो एवरीवन आई शेफ संतोष मालकोटी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट चितकारा स्कूल ऑफ हॉस्पिटैलिटी पंजाब वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस सेशन इन टुडे सेशन यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट एस्पिक एंड जेली व्हिच प्लेज अ वाइटल पार्ट इन द प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ वेरियस शाकुत्री प्रोडक्ट्स बाय द एंड ऑफ द सेशन यू शुड बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन द मीनिंग ऑफ एस्पिक जेली describe the process of making storage and uses of aspic jelly aspic and jelly play an important part in the preparation of many cold dishes that are created in gard manje the glistening coating or the sparkling bases help to highlight the dish that are being presented there is a certain amount of confusion related to the term aspic jelly and very often they are used interchangeably and the same confusion prevails when the term aspic and aspic jelly are used aspic aspic jelly and jelly are three different items and we will be able to distinguish them once we go through the definition of these terms a jelly in english is a gelatinous meat or fish stock a jelly becomes an aspic jelly when it is clarified the word aspic is used to refer to a combination of cold meat fish vegetables or eggs which are set in an aspic jelly in decorative mold aspic jelly can be prepared using uh, three methods the first one is classical method In classical method the preparation of aspic consists of following steps a stock must be made using gelatinous items such as pork skin calves feet knuckle joints and shank bones the stock must be reduced first and then clarified with aromatic vegetables wine and seasoning next one is quick method the quick method of aspic jelly is to add commercial gelatin to a ready made consomme this method is very practical for a busy kitchen that uses a limited amount of aspic jelly in its day to day production the third one is uh, the commercial powder the commercial powders are no doubt the quickest method of producing aspic jelly commercially savory aspic jelly is available in dry powder form and more recently in sheet form as well they save time and effort of the chef in this slide we are going to learn about the preparation of aspic jelly the preparation of aspic jelly can be broken down into four steps first obtain or prepare the stock second clarify the stock third adding seasoning and fourth one is add gelatin to prepare stock one has to start with the fresh ingredients Uh, like vegetables and bones and follows the principles of making a quality stock once the stock is ready the next step is the clarification of stock to clarify the stock one has to create a clarification force meat by combining very lean ground meat vegetables and egg whites in a tall narrow kettle bring the stock to a simmer and incorporate the clarification force meat to it by tempering it with the hot stock once the clarification force meat is mixed in the stock bring the mixture to a simmer stirring occasionally as the temperature rises the albumin and egg whites in the meat will solidify and form a raft that will rise slowly to the surface then stop stirring as soon as the raft begins to form do not allow the mixture to boil make a hole in the center of the raft to allow the liquid to bubble through simmer the liquid gently for 90 minutes without disturbing the raft strain the liquid through cheese cloth using a ladle let the liquid rest for 15 minutes remove any fat from the top by blotting with paper towel when the clarification process is complete the liquid is called as consomme the clarification of stock is followed by adding seasoning add seasoning and taste the consomme adjust the seasoning if the consomme is not strong enough to your taste 
put it back on the heat and gently reduce it by simmering. This will concentrate its flavor. And now finally, gelatin can be added to the warm consumi at the rate of one tablespoon for every cup. And now the aspic can be used as a coating sauce uh, uh, or it can be used for uh, coating cold dishes for a glossy finish. Once you have learned about the preparation of aspic jelly, you must also understand the parameters on which it is graded. Aspic jelly can be graded on the following parameters, flavor, tooth, clarity and color. The flavor of an aspic jelly should be intense enough to make the mouth water. Yet, it should not be so strong so as to overpower the flavor of the main ingredients of the product. There are three aspects to which, uh, to the flavor of the aspic jelly. First is depth of character, which comes from a quality stock. Then second is seasoning. And the thir uh, third one is acidity, which can be added by using wines, lemon juice, or a flavored vinegar. However, adding acid must be done with care as it can interfere with the strength of the gelatin. Next one is tooth. Tooth is the density or the elasticity of the jelly. The jelly should be firm enough to hold the desired shape, yet once it is in the mouth, it should dissolve immediately. The je jelly should not be rubbery or chewy. Aspic jelly should be absolutely, absolutely crystal clear. The range of colors in aspic jelly lie between the rich amber, almost brown color that can be used for game to a nearly colorless for fish. In this slide, you are going to learn about the handling and storage of aspic jelly. Aspic jelly is a potentially hazardous food, an ideal environment for the growth of bacteria. It is high in moisture content, high in protein, and comes from, a, from an animal source. In order to prolong its shelf life and to ensure its wholesomeness, care must be taken in storing prepared aspic jelly. Use only clean, sanitized containers for storage. Once the jelly has set, handle it as little as possible. This will help minimize the growth of bacteria. Allow the jelly to set without stirring. When, it's, when it is set in a single block, it seals itself, exposing only the top surface to the contamination. Once set, the gel should be covered cooling of the aspic jelly should be achieved rapidly. In this slide, we are going to discuss about the uses of aspic. It can be used for various purposes, and some of the uh, uses are like, uh, it can be used for coating show pieces such as whole turkeys and hams, uh, for aspic sheets, aspic mirror and aspic cutouts. It can be used for decorative centerpieces. It can be used for uh, to fill cavities and pathes, to line molds for cold buffet presentation. It can be used for glazing whole terrines and galantines and items uh, coated with choufroy. It can be used for the preparation of aspic crouton, which can be used as a garnish for cold platters. Chopped aspic which can be used as a base to present a variety of cold meat on buffet. It can be used to glaze canopies, zakuskis and other others also. This is all in this session. Hope you must have understood the concept of aspic and in the upcoming session you will learn about yet another topic under Shakutri which is called as quenelles, parfait and roulade. Thank you for watching. Stay safe.